Hi, I'm Father Thaddeus Langton with the 90 Days for the Souls in Purgatory. Today is day 82. Today we pray for those who received Holy Communion while in a state of mortal sin. We turn to paragraph 1457 of the Catechism. According to the Church's command, after having attained the age of discretion, each of the faithful is bound by an obligation faithfully to confess serious sins at least once a year. Anyone who is aware of having committed a mortal sin must not receive Holy Communion even if he experiences deep contrition, without having first received sacramental absolution, unless he has a grave reason for receiving communion and there is no possibility of going to confession. Children must go to the sacrament of penance before receiving Holy Communion for the first time. We know that receiving Holy Communion in a state of mortal sin itself is a mortal sin, it is a sacrilege, it is profaning what is holy, because we publicly profess to be in communion with Jesus Christ, even though by our actions we have broken that communion with him because of our choices, because of our sin. And that's why the church is so strong on this, because the sacrament is a sign or symbol. It is an efficacious sign of what it signifies. And so we falsify it. We take something very holy and then falsify it if, aware of mortal sin, we receive what is communion, even though that's not where we are. What restores us first to communion with Christ in the church is the sacrament of confession, which is why the church has the obligation that at minimum we confess our sins once a year, especially those that are mortal or serious. Now, of course, since receiving Holy Communion in a state of mortal sin is itself a mortal sin, we're interceding today for those who perhaps were ignorant of this or who did it out of fear or shame or other extenuating circumstances because the church makes clear that there are certain things that can attenuate the moral culpability of somebody. So even if it is grave matter, it may not be a full mortal sin and they will be judged accordingly. Or we pray for those who in fact did so as a mortal sin, but they confessed it but did not make a satisfaction for these sins. So we intercede for them that they may soon enter into the definitive communion of, with Christ in heaven and with all the other saints. Pray with me today, a Divine Mercy Chaplet or a Chaplet of the Ten Virtues for these souls who received Holy Communion in a state of mortal sin. May the Virgin Mary's Immaculate Conception be our salvation and our protection. Saint Stanislaus Papczynski, pray for us and for the souls in purgatory.